Hi everyone, welcome to the Explain series with your host, Dr. Brett Palmer. Now, uh, over the last few weeks, I've been getting quite a few guys who have been either having uh, gonorrhea or chlamydia uh, and then saying afterwards that they want a, a further checkup uh, and uh, they'd also like to check their fertility um, because they know that if they get, especially chlamydia, for example, it can affect their fertility, which is very true, and it can cause infertility, which is also very true. Um, and so they just say, look, you know, I'm, I'm 23, I may want to get married, I may want to have kids, uh, can I check my fertility? And I turn around and say, no, there's no point. The reason why you want a fertility test is to ensure that you are still capable of having babies and you're producing viable sperm. That's the whole point of a fertility test. Uh, and so the assumption is that you're trying for kids. Uh, and so the only reason when you should have a fertility test is when you are happy to have a child with someone and you are trying for children. And uh, after a year of trying, you are not successful. Then you should have a fertility test. Um, and a lot of people say, well, I want to make sure that I am fertile before I get to that stage. Well, let's assume that you are currently single uh, and you've just had um, uh, been treated for chlamydia uh, and we do a fertility test. Uh, so let's assume that uh, fertility test uh, says that you are fertile and give it five or six years, you get married, uh, you try for children, uh, but oh, you've been trying for one year and all of a sudden you go for another fertility test and then you don't, uh, and then you're infertile. So what's going on here? Chlamydia, while it can reduce fertility, doesn't mean it's going to, and the vast majority of people that have chlamydia don't become infertile. Uh, and infertility can be caused by a whole host of lots of other factors. You could get a particular cold, which could uh, go affect your, um, infect your testicles and render you infertile that way. You could also have other lifestyle habits, uh, for example, extreme dieting, smoking, um, otherwise uh, on the other end of that you could be um, uh, obese, uh, with a very, very poor diet, and all these things can uh, cause um, uh, a lowering of your fertility, or in some cases, infertility. And so, as you don't know what's going to happen for the next two, three, four, five years, there's absolutely no point in getting a fertility test. And if you do get a fertility test now, and it says that you have um, uh, low fertility or non-viable sperm, what does that mean? You're never going to go out with a woman again? You're never going to uh, try and find a partner? No, of course not. And just because you have low fertility now doesn't mean you'll have low fertility in the future. That's a bit of a misnomer. If you are overweight, don't do any exercise, eat lots of processed food and smoke, you will have low fertility. Uh, you need to correct your lifestyle and get fit and then your fertility will increase. So even if you have low fertility or infertile, you still want to uh, meet that part of your dreams. Um, and then if it turns out that you are infertile in the future, uh, then it's something for you and your partner to confront together as a team. Uh, this is something which you and your partner have to get through. And if your partner is not going to support you, if you have a little bit of low fertility, uh, then maybe you're with the wrong human being. So when do you go for a fertility test? When you and your partner have been trying for a baby for over a year uh, with no positive results. Um, and then when you go for a sperm test, uh, your partner should also go for her fertility test to make sure that she's producing enough eggs. And if there is a deficit anywhere, you both work on it together. Uh, but uh, many times as well, uh, when one partner has a good sperm count and the other partner has, uh, it seems to be producing eggs uh, at the right quantity at the right time and has also good fertility, that is called unexplained infertility. Uh, there is no cause for unexplained infertility, despite it being one of the most common causes of not to not being able to produce uh, children, and no one really knows or understands uh, why. Although there are a couple of theories out there, uh, this is something you just uh, live with um, and get over as a team with your partner. Take care. See you in the next episode.